Charlotte, we've been tracking them for you every single day because these are the numbers that our state leaders, our city leaders, the health department are using to make guidelines for how we're going to continue forward in these uh, reopening phases. So let's take a look at them. We know that this is going, these numbers are going to be a huge factor into whether or not the RNC can be held at full capacity. Um, one of the key factors leaders are looking at our hospitalizations and North Carolina actually saw its worst day for that yet. More than 600 patients are hospitalized for COVID-19 across the state right now and that is not a one-day spike. You can see by that dotted line the number has been steadily climbing in the days after we begin lifting restrictions. So remember that phase one started on May 8th so it wasn't too long ago. That trend line started going up a little over a week after phase one started. So when people started getting a little more freedom and started to go out and be able to be around each other more, that is when the line started, the trend line started to go up, which means more and more people started to get sick. Another critical number going up is the percentage of people testing positive for COVID-19. Now, before phase one, that number was flattening out, so that was the good sign. But then again, you can see the dotted line in recent days, that number is going up. Right now, we're about 8% of coronavirus tests are coming back positive. So this is all important to track because North Carolina is, is still phase two and it's the modified phase two where some businesses are being allowed to open um, and not gyms and, and um, not playgrounds and things like that. But these are the numbers that our city leaders, our state leaders in the health department are using to, to move, up, move forward and, and do so safely. So Rob, yeah, these are very important and we're gonna continue to track them. Yep, those numbers are in many ways are on the way up, and yet we continue to still reopen. So it will be interesting to see what it looks like in the coming weeks. Carolyn, thanks.